In the previous video, we covered the default user groups in Umraku, how to create new user groups and assign a user to a user group. We also logged in as Jack who was assigned the editor and developer user groups. Jack can access the content, media, packages, forms and deploy section of the back office and only the products content node in the content section. In this video, we are going to look at Jack's permission and cover the different types of permissions that can be assigned to users. I'll quickly log out of Jack's account and log in with my credentials. Cool. Now, depending on which user group a user is added to, each user has a set of permissions associated with their accounts. These permissions either enable or disable a user's ability to perform its associated function. If we go to users, you'll notice that Jack has been assigned to editors and developer user groups. So let's review both these user groups quickly. We'll click on groups and as we can see, developer has access to content, media, packages and deploy sections of the back office and editors have access to content, media and form section. So with this, it's clear that Jack has access to form section because he's part of the editor's user group as well. Both the user groups have access to the content and media root nodes. So why is it that Jack has access only to the products content node and not the entire content root? Let's look at Jack's user profile. We'll go to users and click on Jack Smith. Okay, so as we can see, the group section contains the same information we have seen on the groups tab. However, if we go to the content start nodes, Jack has access only to products node of the content tree. And that's why he can access only the products node in the back office. The permission set within the user profile overrides the permission set at the user group level. So if we wish to give Jack complete access to the content section, we can simply remove the products node and add the content root node. The purpose of this is to limit user permissions to specific start nodes of the content and media section. Now that Jack is part of both the editors and developers user group, we feel that he doesn't need access to certain pages as a developer. So we'll click on edit next to the developer user group and scroll down to the bottom to the granular permissions section. Here we can set permissions for specific nodes. So as we can see, Jack has certain permissions for the home node. Let's click on add and select contact us. We are presented with a list of permissions Jack can perform with this page. This is called setting user permissions on a page level. Currently, I don't want Jack to create new nodes for contact us page or publish the page. So we'll disable the create and publish option and click on submit. We can now see the permissions that Jack can perform as a developer on the contact us page. Let's save these changes. And finally, since Jack has access to the form section, we want to make sure he can perform all forms related actions. So we'll expand the form security folder here you can see all the users listed below. We'll select Jack Smith. And as you can see, Jack can only manage forms. He cannot manage forms workflow or data sources or pre-value sources. He won't be able to perform these actions in the form section. So depending on the user profile, we can enable or disable these actions for forms. And with this, we've covered the user section of the back office. So let's review. In this video, we learned why Jack had certain permissions. We also went over how to assign permissions on a page level or limit users access to the content tree or media library. Not to forget, we can grant or deny access to certain form related actions on a user level. And that's it for this video. If you like this video, do not forget to like or subscribe to our channel. If you wish to learn the best practices and take advantage of the latest Umbraco features, you can sign up to the Umbraco Fundamentals training course. I'll leave the link in the description box below. Stay tuned for more videos. Until then, take care and stay safe.